Hey everybody, I hope and pray that you're doing well. Today as we come to our word from the word. And today that word is treasure. Treasure. Have you ever just stopped to think about how much of a treasure it is that we have God's word? Right? You think about how long God's word has been around and how we still have it today. Now we're getting a long conversation and uh, more detail about how we got to this point with scripture that we got today and you get people argue from all all different sides the inspired holy word of god is still here still before us and the way that he preserved it all and the way that we can still enjoy and praise the lord the same way with the same words that david did it's a look today in psalm 29 and just the first couple verses, right? He, he begins, and I encourage you as always to be reading through it all, uh, the whole psalm, so you can see the whole context of what's going on. But it, I love the fact that he even talks about the, the power of God's voice. But he begins, just the way he begins the psalm reminds me of how we need to treasure God, how we need to treasure our relationship with God, and then how we don't need to lose sight of what a treasure he is. Now, I, when I say that, I don't want you to think, okay, well, this is something we we found God at the end of a, a rainbow, or we found him on some pirate ship, and this is the, the sunken treasure that we've been looking for. But instead, I want you to think about the, the wonderful blessing and the joy that, that something is, not just a treasure like you would think monetarily, but something that you would treasure within your heart. And that's where when we truly worship him, we are, you know, that word worship is worth ship. In other words, whatever you count worthy, that's what you, you pay. That's what you, uh, and there again, not to pay monetarily, but to, that's what you pay respect to. That's what you idolize and, and look up to and, and worship what you love. And so here we see today in Psalm 29, he says in verses one and two says, give unto the Lord, O you mighty ones. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. You ever just stop to think how beautiful God's holiness is? Have you ever stopped to just think about how holy he is? Even beyond our wildest dreams, beyond our wildest imagination, Think about how many times just in scripture, how many times when people see angels that they were frightened and taken, uh, you know, they, they fall down and they always say, fear not. If that's the first thing the angels say is fear not, they must have been a little scary. They must have instilled fear. And I don't know about you, but I believe it would instill a lot of fear in me as well. But imagine when the angel of the Lord, right? God, pre-incarnate Christ shows up what that was like. That still didn't even touch the holiness of God. Even just think about Isaiah, Isaiah 6, when he sees God, and he, he sees him high and lifted up and he realizes just how unworthy he is. You see that this over and over through the prophets and you see it through John and Revelation the same way. All these things that we see that we cannot even imagine the holiness of God. But yet while we're here, it seems as though we mock God. We almost spit in the face of God. We don't treasure him. We don't, we don't have the, we don't even talk to each other a lot of times the way that the psalmist is saying here. We don't come together and just rejoice. Okay, well, maybe we lead a song on Sunday and, and we sing a little praise then, but are we singing praise throughout the week? Are we singing praise from our hearts? Is it always on our lips? Is it always on our minds? The King James, I believe, says, uh, ascribe him glory. If it's not that, it may be another version that says, ascribe him glory. Give to him what his worth is. Show him what a treasure he is. Maybe that's what we need to do today. Maybe we just need to take time, quit focusing on us, right? And let's focus on God today. Let's praise him. Let's worship him. Let's thank him. And let's tell others about him. Because that's the way that we worship the one that we treasure. God bless you, and I pray you have a great, great day.